Singaporeans have been slammed for being not just lacklustre dressers, but downright sloppy. Okay, so the girls and boys here wear flip-flops to Orchard Road. Some say it's inappropriate because beachwear should well stay on the beach. Are Singaporeans fashion savvy enough for image consultant Jill Lowe, who recently published two dressing guidebooks for girls and guys? Are we a fashion nation? Jill and I, we have hit the streets in Orchard Road where you have to be seen in your best of fashion. Well, we're going to look at what's a hit and what's a miss on the streets of Orchard Road. Okay, and let's people watch. Three girls in uh, dress differently. What do you think about them? That's interesting. This is a version of three types of pants. One's long, one is medium, and one's pink calf. And each time when a woman wears pants, it really shows the, the, the maximum length of her legs. So you need some long legs to actually work with them. Otherwise, you can see the more you section, the larger you go, and the shorter you look, and the broader you go. And therefore, you can be casual, you, yet you can be casually beautiful, rather than making yourself broader and shorter. What type of clothes will, will make you look shorter? Every time you wear uh, a pants, uh, it makes you look shorter. So those who got long legs will make you look, you can wear pants really well. And besides, the t-shirt come all the way down, and therefore you section the whole body away. And that's the reason why they look extremely short. And if they try to wear pants to be casual, they can wear soft fabric pants rather than hugging pants. And once they hug their pants, you actually see the profile of the body. So slacks will be better for them than to wear the pants like denim. Why have you picked this one up as an example? This is something which is also interesting to know that anything that's horizontal will of course expand your body. And when you actually expand your body, you look a lot larger and shorter, right? And then again, you wear a dark color. This time around, not a black, but a dark color. It's sort of a dark gray. Yeah, yeah it's it sort of to slim herself down. And that the horizontal stripe expand it again, so there is a contradiction. And uh, fashion is something interesting. As long as you use what's in the fashion and then match your physics well, and that you've got fashion taste. But when it's mismatched, you become a fashion faux pas. Okay, this girl. This is a very interesting girl. She's actually a very beautiful girl. But looking at her eyewear, her eyewear is absolutely fashionable. If, if the lenses has been tinted to make it sunglasses, then it brings out the fashion. And the lime green suits her well, really fine. On the other hand, it's a soft fabric. And the soft fabric will deflate. That means the person gets thinner and thinner and thinner. And she is, by, by the look of her, she is very slim. And that made her look very deflated. That can look malnutrition to some extent. You see the lady there, she's slim and she wears checks. So yep. when you're slim, you wear checks, it makes you larger. And then she's got these rosy cheeks, so she chose a rosy, pinky, bluey outfit that, that merged together. You can actually bring out the feminine out of her. Yeah, she's in jeans and denim to see that she's rugged. So these are the women who look like they are sophisticated and yet a lady. And therefore, you can be casual. She's wearing very casual with very minimum fabric. And yet she's casually attractive. And yet she brings out the feminine taste with a very modern, you know, modern woman look. Uh, so therefore, a woman can look into being casual and yet very chic looking. Okay, so the girls we've seen today were not spectacular according to Jill, but they're pleasant enough. How will the guys fare? Find out next.